Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, what's popping, Miss? All good. What about you? How are you so doing? Far, so good. Excellent. That's good. I'm happy. Are you happy? Tomorrow's Friday. Well, tomorrow's Saturday. Today is Friday. <laughs> Yes, today is Friday and the body knows. The body knows it, yes. And wait a moment. So if you don't have to work tomorrow, that is good. Because if you have to work tomorrow, probably that's not so good, right? It doesn't matter, Miss. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Why? No, it doesn't matter. Why? You always <laughs> like the, 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 the Saturday, the, I mean the Friday? Yes, if, if I can, yes. And do you work on Saturdays? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Until noon or until night? Uh, sorry, I don't don't understand. Uh, do you work? So you work tomorrow all day or half the day? No, no, just just the morning. Just the morning. Okay, okay, perfect. Last year, I was working from Monday to Friday. In the morning and online, and Saturdays and Sundays, I went to San Salvador to work as well. So I was really busy last year. And I didn't like it. Well, I liked it, but it was too busy. It's too hard. Yeah, it was it was a little bit stressful. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> if you will say it, it was a little bit stressful, but yeah. That's it when you're born poor, but you have taste of a rich person. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So welcome again, everyone. Thank you very much for being here, for your punctuality, for your commitment. Commitment is compromiso. For your commitment to your learning and to learn English, right? You know that every minute that you are connected is important because attendance is based on minutes, not only being present in the class, right? So I appreciate that you take that serious and you're here on time every day. Also, I I really appreciate and I like the ones that are have the have the cameras on. Appreciate that because you know that is important for your scholarship. Because you know, yeah, that is so very important. If you don't have your camera on, you're gonna almost tell me what is the reason if there is a a reason you have it off, for example, you're driving home, there's no power in your house or whatever. There could, there could be many reasons, but always let me know because it is important to know why you have the cameras, okay? Okay, uh, we're gonna start now with the attendance. So I'm gonna call the roll. Remember to say present, oh, I'm here and always Turn off your microphones unless you are saying present or I'm here, okay? And I'm sorry, again, I have allergies today. Okay, Hannah Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Present. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. You cannot speak, Carlos? No? Text me. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. In the house. In the house. Present. <laughs> In the house. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present means. Okay, got it, Carlos. Thank you. Eric Jose Reyes Molina. Present. 
Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Present, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. José Alfredo Hueso López Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Belgar ¿No? Julio César Aguillón Arevalo Present María Julia Ramos Olivar Angel Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. José Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Not here? Okay. Um, Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Okay. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Okay. <laughs> Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Está Verónica. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Nisset García Miranda. No. Okay, I'm going to send them a message to WhatsApp because I think we're missing a couple of students today. Hello. Ahora sí. Excelente. Welcome, Carlos. Every minute. Okay. Rafael is having problems with the internet. Okay, got it. Okay, let's continue. I have a question. Have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, work the homework in, in half or a finish class? Can you repeat that? Work the homework. If you want in the platform. If you want work in the platform. If I want to work in the platform? Yes, Friday. Yes. Today? Today. Yeah, we can work in the platform. The last exercise of unit number two. Okay, thank Give you. Give me a second. Give me a second. Goodness, I hate allergies. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just... Okay, uh, it says instructions with the following. <laughs> Give me a second because I just need to write something down. So if you uh, can, please log in the platform 
So we can all be doing the exercise at the same time because then when I check the When I check your, check your grades, they are not complete, okay? So please, please, please be doing the exercises at the same time we're doing them, okay? So that will be helpful. Okay, let's go. Let me log in. Rafael Martinez is here. Welcome, Rafael. Okay. Okay, it says, Read the following training manual. You may choose from the following adverse or transition expressions. After that or afterwards, first, finally, and then. Once you are sure, you may type your answers. So you have to complete the analysis. Okay, in this part, obviously we are starting. So what do you think is the correct word in progress? After that, after words first, finally, or then? We're starting to describe the process. So to start, we say, or to say the first step, we say, well, like I already told you, what is it? First. 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 Okay. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to provide in your company. Two, it is necessary to write, what do you think it is? Then. Hmm? Then. Yeah, we can use uh, then, but. Then or after that? After that. Let's use after that. After that it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. Three. Okay. Then. What I think is capital. Then you need to select manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary final okay instructions read the following steps number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve an order take a customer's order mm. Confirm the order, see the customer, greet the customer, handle the food correctly. What do you think is the number one? The customer's order, confirm the order, see the customer, greet the customer, or handle the food. Greet the customer. Greet the customer. the customer. Greet the customer is the number one, right? So after you greet the customer, what do you think is necessary to do? Based on what we have been practicing. See the customer. See the customer, correct. After you see the customer, you are ready to? Take customer's order. Take customer's order. After that, you have to? Confirm the order. Finally, you have to? Handle the food correctly. Perfect. Handle the food correctly. Okay. Let's check if that is correct. <laughs> yes, it is correct. Let's check that again one more time. First, after that, then finally take customer's order. Number three, confirm the order. Number four, see the customer. Number two, greet the customer. Number one, handle the food correctly. Number five, okay, and that's it.
with that, we finish the section number two. This is the exam. <clears throat> We're gonna do the part one, just the part one. My house is big, yours. Oh, comparatives. What is it for this comparative? Big? It's bigger than. Okay, and with that um, adjective, what is the rule? Consonant, vowel oh. consonant? Double consonant. Double the last consonant. Bigger than yours. In this case, we have a longer adjective that is beautiful. It has more than one syllable. So what do we need to use then? More beautiful. More beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then. Then. Interesting. Interesting is also an adverb that ha I mean, an adjective that has a lot of uh, syllables. So what it will be? This book is more more interesting. This book is more interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the movie. Show contrast. Oh, what do we use to show contrast? Or add for so or but. To present a contrasting idea. For? That or, is the equivalent for because. Or. Hmm? Uh, so. Mm, are you sure? Or. But. But. But is to show contrast. What is it? It's in uh, because it's but yes yeah, yeah i think we can show contrast with but and and but we're gonna see it played reason or purpose in that case reason or. exactly yeah you see we got them all right better than more beautiful than more interesting than but for okay let's go to the next part is a portion of food often smaller than a regular meal generally eaten between meals what is that do you think no it's a snack no right the principal dish of a meal Main course. Main course. A flavored beverage. Drink. Correct. It's often used with want or like and to add politeness. Mm. What is it? Cold. Cold. Cold want? Cold. Cold. Are you sure? Lo repetimos varias veces que my want or like se iban a decir que might. Might. might might used to make suggestions podrías could could okay there we go so we have snack main curses Drinks might and could. Perfect. Let's continue. To manage a situation or a problem. Handle. Handle. To confirm. I mean, to inform. To inform. Notify. Notify. Salutation. Um, greeting. Greeting. Read the following prompts 
decide whether they are good service or bad service. The waiter gets you food you ask for. Good service. Good service. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Bad service. Let's do it one more time. Number one, handle. Number two, notify. Number three, salutation. Four, good service. Five, bad service. Okay. Instructions, but it match the descriptions to their procedures. Oh, the procedures. We already saw this. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Hand wash, hand sanitation. Sanitizing. 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 Employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid food storage. Criteria. Storage. Food storage. <laughs> to let frozen food become warmer until it's ready to cook. Towing food. <laughs> Instructions. Add the adverbs to complete the sentence. Watch the order, okay? We wash the dishes, we eat dinner. So what do we do? First, first. We wash first. And then? After? No, it's first. It's after that. After yeah, that. First is after that. After that. Uh huh. This one is after that. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. And the other one? First. 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 Correct. Number one is sanitizing. Number two is food storage. Number three is towing food. Number four, well, number one of the second part after that. And number two, first. Okay. And with that, you should have completed the section one, section two, and midterm. You see, and then we should be in 16. And we're not in the 16th. Um, class. We are in the class number 10. So we have one week of advantage. We're going to be working beforehand and probably we're going to finish the platform before we finish the classes, okay? Okay, yeah, good, excellent. Well, let's continue. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> It's hard to be a teacher. Okay, now. Okay. Let's go here. It says, how to create an effective training manual. We already did this activity. It was the activity that we did right now in the platform. So what do you think? Um, wait a what do you think? What is the number one <laughs> process we do? The adverb to mark the number one. We say. First. 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 Okay, first you have to complete an analysis of the trading needs of your employees and choose the processes 
you would like to improve in your company. After that. After that. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. And then, then, then you need to select. Then you need to select manual style and decide if extra digital content is content is necessary. Finally. 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 Revise the manual and print it. Okay. Now. I would like you to help me read this and I'm going to choose the people who are going to read. They are going to read until where the hearts are. Okay. And I'm going to choose it. Let's see. Let's start with Julio Aguillon. Okay. I read it. Yeah, from here. First, from you, here. first you have to complete an analysis on of training needs of your employees and choose the process processes you would like to improve in your company. Thank you. That, no, no, thank you. Thank you. Clelia? Hello? Yes, continue, please. Uh, ¿Dónde se quedó? After that. Mm -hmm. After that. It is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or charters. Thank you. Okay. No, it, hard to hard, hard to hard, okay? Rafael Martinez, continue, please. Then you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Excellent, good job, thank you very much. Eddie Giovanni. Yes, miss. The last part. Finally, we buy. We revise. We buy the manual and print print it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue with the next activity. The next activity we're gonna do is this one, but we're not gonna do it individually. We we're going to do this activity in groups. We're gonna write a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in a restaurant, but I'm gonna assign the activity you're gonna do. And you have to use transition expressions from the box. For example, if I ask you to write a towing process, you will say towing process. First, you have to choose the food you are going to cook. Then you need to grab the food and Put it and no and take it out of the freezer. Okay. After that, I'm giving you an example of what you're going to do. Okay. After that, put the food in the fridge. 
Tawin food is better in cooler temperatures. ¿Sabían eso? That si ustedes descongelan una carne y la ponen en el agua a que se descongele o a temperatura ambiente, podrían dañarla. Tienen que pasarla del freezer a la parte de abajo de la refri para que siga un proceso más natural de descongelamiento. So, that's what I'm saying here. Que probablemente ustedes ya lo saben. Put the food in the fridge. That way food is better in cold temperatures. Then, let it defrost. for the night and so on. But do you get the idea of where of the, of the activity we're gonna do? Do you get the idea? Yes, I, I got it. Yes, yes, okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Miss, um, I, I have a do doubt. Okay. Uh, 10 line, what, what is 10 line, 10 lines? Ah, okay, gracias. Ten line paragraph about a process. Un párrafo de... Diez yeah. líneas. Yeah. That is not Tal. allowed. For intermediate, that is not allowed. You should see what you're going to have to do on advanced levels. Okay? So, I'm going to give you the processes you're going to follow. Like the same thing we did like a couple of days ago, but I'm gonna uh, make the groups and I'm gonna go to the group and tell you what process you need to follow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Aceptemos ahí las imágenes, please. Let's join the break rooms. Because I need to go and assign the participants or the topics. Hello. 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 Hi, hello. Your process is sanitizing food, okay? okay? Food, and I'm telling you food, no other things, like no sanitizing for COVID or whatever. Sanitizing food, okay? Eh, un manual, prácticamente. Hello? Hello, Miss. Un proceso. Process. Your process in, in the work. is going to be the tasting method. You can look in oh. the internet, okay? It's okay. The tasting method to taste food, right? Okay, Miss. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. I think Javier. Javier just joined the room. Javier, your classmates are doing an activity. They are going to write a 10 uh, line paragraph, okay? They need okay, to. Okay, teacher. So you should help them. Hello. Hello, me. I'm going to give you the process. You're going to. What are you doing? We did this already. Ah, estábamos viendo una duda que teníamos aquí entre todos. Club de tareas. We're working. Yes. Okay, that was it. Okay, let's go now. And with the process, I'm going to give you the process. Okay. okay, the process is to purchase. To purchase food from the providers 
okay? To purchase food from the providers to the restaurant, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's different, go. Different food. Yeah. What, tell me what is the process, the manual, to, uh, like the steps, and use the words finally, first, then after that, after words, okay? Ten line, ten line paragraph. Got it? Got it. You can look for information. If you don't have like enough ideas, you can translate them. You can do like like search, Google search or whatever, okay? Okay, okay perfect.
Welcome, Jose Alfredo. Welcome, Miss. Good evening. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to you. <laughs> How are you? Ay, very tired. la hora que tengo aquí. Yes, I see that. Well, look, your classmates are working on a procedure. They are writing in the breakout rooms. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room you can, so you can participate, okay? Okay. okay, let's go. Okay, listen, I'm gonna go to the breakout rooms to check the paragraphs. Voy a ir a revisar los párrafos. If you have to modify them, I will let you know. Si tienen que modificarlo, les voy a dejar saber. Así que tengan listos los paragraphs, voy a ir a revisarlos. Si no han terminado, don't worry. Oh, to the warehouse. Lo del Waterhouse eh, debería ser el segundo. Puede ser, sí, pero no creo que en un partido tan importante el primer candidato que la otro lo ha llevado. ¿Qué es el parágrafo? ¿Es el parágrafo? Sí. Ten line paragraph? Yeah, I mean. One, two, three, four and a half. 
Yeah, I think we should add extra information, okay? First, you need to give more words, right? Yes? Try to give more words, try to express more. It's not so difficult. Let's try to do it, okay? Imagination is good. Yes. Yeah, you have no, to do it. You have to. We, you have to. We don't know nothing about that. Yeah, you can. Well, that's why I told you you can look. You can look on Google. You can look. You can look for information. You can search information, and that food in bowl. Bowl is b o w l b o w l, and it's telling you that is incorrect. Okay. For example, first separate type of food, then put the food in bowl, then wash food with rinse and if it's infected. After that, try to avoid bacteria. I will say first, organize and separate the food. After that, no, 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 I'm not giving you the answer. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I would do, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> organize the, the food. Um, then look for the best, um, I don't know, soap or the disinfectant for that type of food. Then you put the type of food or whatever in water. Let it sink, dejarlo reposar, let it sink for about water, I don't know how many minutes. Then you will add soap and wash it carefully. esa palabra, con cuidado. Carefully, wash it carefully. Then you will, I don't know, pasarlo por agua no sé cuántas veces, through, through water, like rinse it one or two times and then do this, and then do that, and then you, I don't know, eh, también ponerlos en un lugar adecuado para que no se vuelvan a ensuciar, si es necesario sanitizarlo de nuevo antes de comer o solo para guardarlo. What are you going to do? You have many ideas right now, many ideas, okay? Okay, you more specific. specific. Correct. And you can look on the internet. What is a sanitizing process for food? And you will have more ideas there, okay? Sandra, you can turn off your camera because I think your internet connection is bad. Hi, Sandra. Group one, number two, Johnny, Javier. Group number two. Okay, I'm gonna join you. Johnny Javier. Okay, got it. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Todas las carnes rojas. La cava, que es el vino blanco, pero tipo un rosado es como para mm, Peña Rica. Oh. Okay. The <laughs> red wine, the red wine is for beef steaks. Is for is two? No. The pink wines okay. for cheese. You see, in the other ones you use four, but in the first one you use two. So one it's is true. correct and one is incorrect. Okay. White, uh, white. The red wine is white for beef steak. And white chickens. And white meats, probably, because yes, all chickens white are chicken. white. Yeah, yeah. Yes. White meats. White meat. 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 No, 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 no. No, we are meat. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about meat. So. <laughs> Me. Yeah. yeah, it's correct, Johnny. Like you would have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E yeah. yeah. okay. Go back. Yeah. I want to see the other paragraphs. I, I like to check if there are mistakes. Okay. Wine tasting method. 
Okay. Procedures. First, see, look at the appearance of the wine and see what it tells you. Wow, that is, that is deep. <laughs> After that, swirl, swirl the glass to let aromatic notes come out. Then, sniff, smell the wine and see what scents you can isolate. Finally, sip, taste the wine and think about components like acidity, tannin, flavor, and more. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, now you have this, but now look for the pronunciation of the words because you have complicated words in this. So, okay, <laughs> be ready with that. It looks like you're done. And also, if you want an advice about the appearance of the presentation, you can use pictures of wine, right? You use okay. grapes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because the grape that's no wine okay. yet. Bottle of wine. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Rafael, you just connected to the class? Hello, Miss. Excuse me. It's um, uh, a, test, a test in university. Okay. You're studying? Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Well, look, your classmates are working on a process in the break rooms. They are almost done. They are about to finish. Yeah. But I'm going to send you to a group so you can at least listen and participate if you want, okay? Okay, perfect. There you go. Okay, thank you.
Okay, get ready everyone. Please be ready to present um, the information you have. Also rem uh, remember that you have to have good pronunciation. Practice pronunciation, please, because that will be very important.
Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna go now, and I think you're more than prepared for this activity, okay? You're more than ready. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The group number one will be, you know what? This time, group number one is gonna be group number one. Okay, let's go. The group number one, if you don't remember, was Blanca, Carlos, Jacobo, Jonathan, Julio, Rafael, Ramiro, and Silvia. Eso señal maestro. Okay. San sanitizing food. First, separate for types of foods, vegetables, meat, and other foods that require the sanitizer. The meat not required wash, the packaged food only applicable spray sanitizer. If the food expires, so discard or use as soon as possible. Then put the food in bowl for wash. Then wash food with enough water, rice, and disinfectant. After that, write the vegetables for 10 minutes for avoid bacteria. Finally, put the food in bowl, identify with expiration date and storage in the field to type of food. Next. Freezer and meat and keep the vegetable in fresh area the fresh. Okay, thank you. No lo quiten. <laughs> Let's give them an applause. Thanks, excellent, good job. Okay. Let's correct some words that were mispronounced, probably vegetables, okay? That is one, vegetables, vegetables. Sanitizing, sanitizing. Applicate, applicate. Let me see. Again, vegetables, vegetables, y aquí. To avoid, to avoid bacteria. In that case, it's not for avoid, it's to avoid. Finally, put the wood in the fridge. It identify the expiration day, the expiration day. And a storage in the fridge for food types. Freeze, only freeze. Freezer, no, freeze without the R. Only delete the letter R. Freeze. The meat and keep the vegetables in fresh areas. In the fridge, quisieron decir aquí? Aquí dice los vegetales en una área fresca, el refri. En in el refri. Oh, in the fridge. Yes. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's continue with the next group. Next group is going to be group number three. Eric, 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 Janice, Jose, Maria, Oscar, Oseas, and no, Veronica was not there. First, top of products to use the symbols. Thanks. Then suppliers the product to the warehouse. Number three, then we receive the raw material. For wow. Sin miedo al éxito. Raw materials and we make a list of it. Of it. Five. Form of payment 
to the supplier check credit. I have a second. Take. Finally, with storage, the raw matter. Pro material, creo que es de... Material. The process is purchase. Oh, you're done? That was it? Finally. Finally. Huh. Yeah. Okay, a lot of comments. Let's see. Let's go one by one. First, stock without the S. The products. To execute, execute, what do you want to say there? Execute the symbols. What was the meaning? Execute, execute the symbols. Symbols. Let me see. Platillos. Exquisiteces. Means what's the thing? What's the meaning symbols? That's what I'm looking because that's a new word to me. The word. Wow. Symbols is an instrument. Uh, it's a musical instrument, correct. Symbols is a musical instrument. Okay. Thank Maybe you. they wanted to say dishes. I'm guessing they wanted to say dishes. The word and execute. What what did you want to say with execute? Ejecutar. First, stock products. Primero, almacena los productos para ejecutar los platillos. <coughs> Podría decirme en la oración en español de lo que quería poner ahí, please. Ok. Primeras existencias de productos para ejecutar los platillos. Ah, para hacer los platillos de comidas. Yeah. Ah, bye. Miren, justo ahora vi un TikTok de eso. Primer error de querer traducir las cosas. Traducirlas literales. ¿Ok? Hay formas más simples de hacerlo. ¿Yes? Entonces, para hacer el platillo. First in inventory, yo diría, first inventory, Primero lo que tengo inventariado. First inventory to make the dishes or to make the food, which sounds even better. Okay. Now a comma here. Then supplier the product to the warehouse. Después proveedor el producto. A la bodega. Supply. ¿Qué, qué? What was the meaning of this sentence? ¿Pueden decirme en Spanish? En Spanish era eh, hacer una orden de pedido de, 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 de los productos. Orde, ¿Hacer un pedido? Una orden de compra. Hacer una orden de compra a la bodega. Es para bodega, sí. Para, no, para, para, para bodega. Para, para comprar al proveedor. Hacer una orden de una Order. orden de compra. New materials. Food. With the provider. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Yeah. Then we receive the raw material. 
Yeah, that, that, I would say that is correct. Only the comb. Now, in the next word says raw materials and we make a list of it. I'm going to read that in Spanish so you understand what I'm saying. Material crudo. Y hacemos una lista. Is that what you wanted to say? Eso sería como hacer una, eh, chequear, eh, chequear el producto que se está recibiendo, hacer una lista del, o chequear el producto que se está recibiendo. Oh, ok. Eh, chequear, hacer una lista del producto, de la materia prima que se está recibiendo. Es, que se está recibiendo. Sí. Ok, so make a list of the raw material we are storing or we are getting okay make a list okay but here no tenemos un paso so maybe you can say then right then make a list okay excellent Let's go from form of payment. Form of payment to the supplier. Forma de pago al para, proveedor. para el proveedor. Yes. ¿Eso es lo que querían decir? Yes. Como la si puede ser. Ajá, la forma de pago uh, de la factura. Oh, que puede okay. ser cheque, crédito, efectivo. Ok. So let's say check, because check is written like that, right? Aquí nos falta la C, right? Check. We will say check with the provider the form of payment. And then you can add credit cash or any other form of payment, okay? And then it says, finally, we storage the raw material. Me venían diciendo raw material, pero aquí me dijeron raw matter, okay? So vamos a ponerle siempre raw material, then finally, okay? And remember, it was a 10 lines paragraph, okay? So just to have that in mind, it's okay. Remember, <clears throat> it's okay to make mistakes, but we have to learn from it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Miss. Excellent. Thank you to you. Okay. Let's go now with the group number two. Okay. If you will mind. Anna, Clelia, Eric, Henry, Javier, Johnny, Mayra, Rafael, and Sandra. I think it was it, right? Mayra, maestro. You hear Mayra? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you, Mayra. Okay, hey, you're welcome. Okay, go ahead. And start. Okay. Testing method procedures. First, see, look at the appearance of the wine and see what it tells you. After that, sure, sure the glass to let aromatic knowledge come out. Then, sniff, smell the wine and see what scent you can isolate. Finally, sip, taste the wine, and think about components like acidity, tanning, flavor, and more. Recommendation. The red wine is to be stiff. The pink whites for cheese. The white, the white wines 
for seafood and white meat. Excellent. Let's give them an applause. Good job. Solo déjenlo ahí. Vamos a corregir. Let's go back. A la primera. Let's go back. Okay. Here, well, the procedure is well explained, but this word, let me mark the word. Sure. This word is appearance. Okay. Appearance. Okay. Appearance. Appearance. Then um let's see. Scent. 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 This one. Isolate. Isolate. Okay. Isolate. Now let's go back. Let's go to the next slide, please. <clears throat> okay, here we have something that I told you to change to beef steaks. Remember that I asked you to change that? It's for or exactly steak. and I asked you to change it, right? Yes, you are right. Yes. Yeah, okay. So the red wines is four, and you wrote four here, and let me see. What do I have the market? So you grow four here and you grow four here. <laughs> but then it's, you grow yeah, two here. It's true. So, yeah, that is something that is uh shouldn't be that way. <laughs> four big things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So that's change the word. Yeah, that's it. Yes, Yo creo I que se, se enfocaron en las imágenes y se olvidaron de modificar lo más importante. <laughs> right? You yes, forgot about the most important. Okay, perfect. Okay. Anyways, good job, everyone. Excellent for your participations. Remember. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Y eso es lo más importante. Es lo que les decía ayer. If you don't make mistakes, you're not going to learn. And here is the situation. And I understand perfectly because I was in the same place you are right now. You want to translate as you're thinking, okay? Because we want to say the same things in Spanish and in English. But sometimes it's better to just say it in another way. So for example, uh, in the TikTok video that I watched today, the person said, what was the, the sentence? Let me check if I have it here. Well, the sentence was something around people want to, gente o personas reunidas para comer animal con escamas. Something like that. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Mm, I don't think I can find it. Well, but he said, personas están reunidas para comer un animal con escamas. Okay. If you want to translate, y no, no decía ni siquiera comer la persona, decía like to exterminar o algo así, animal con escamas. How would you translate that in English? Tell me, how would you do it? ¿Cómo lo traduciría? Hi, are you still there? <coughs> ¿O no tienen una forma de traducirlo? Wait, Google. No. Not really. Okay. So the person said, people reunited, al gente reunida para comer un animal con escamas y no sé qué cosa, para exterminar un animal con escamas. And I was like, that is complicated, right? So then he said, Personas reunidas o personas estamos reunidas. ¿Cómo cambiarían eso ustedes? Personas estamos, personas estamos reunidas. We are. Solo we. Ok. We. Comerán no, we o exterminarán, eh, 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 devorarán o algo así. ¿Cómo dirían devorarán? Ya dijimos devoraremos, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros, ya dijimos que nosotros, we, devoraremos. ¿Cómo lo dirían? 
We eat. We Pero como eat. es pasado, we will eat. Ven. Si no tengo que ir palabra por palabra. We will eat animal con escamas. Fish. Eh, animal. No? Fish. 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 You see? A veces es más complicado como yo lo pensé en español, pero para pasarlo al inglés es bien fácil. Con palabras más simples. ¿Vieron? Sí, uh, we, Hicimos we eat fish. fish. Y, uh, y dijimos en español, personas estamos, las personas estamos reunidas para exterminar un animal con escamas. Tradúzcame eso y usted va a tener todo un rato ahí, lo voy a tener 20 minutos lidiando cómo traducir eso. Y aún así lo vamos a hacer mal, ¿sí o no? Right? Uh, why right. use exterminar? Dijo el hombre no. como que dice exterminar. Alguna palabra sí fue la que utilizó. No, I don't remember quite well. Creo que ni Ay. le di like al video. Solo lo pasé, pero me quedé. Ah, bueno, eso es un video interesante. El caníbal. Pero ah. el punto es, o devorar. Vaya, pues, digamos devorar, devorar. Sí, yo como voy a decir, devorate, or what, something, whatever. Yeah. Lo mejor decir yeah. eat, right? So, eso, hacer las cosas más complicadas, más sencillas. Ustedes no están haciendo traducción. Quiero que se enfoquen en esto. No es traducción. ¿Saben qué es? Comprensión. Cerca. Entender. Interpretación. 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 So, traducción es literal, ¿sí? Interpretación es entender el mensaje. Como cuando decíamos, piece of cake. ¿Qué significa piece of cake? What is the meaning of piece of cake? Fácil. Fácil. Fácil, pan Fácil o pan comido. Pero si yo me pongo a traducir lo literal que dice piece of cake. Pieza, pieza de, de pastel. pastel. Pieza pieza de pastel. Ah, pieza de pastel, pieza de pastel. ¿Va a entender usted? No, ¿verdad? Entonces es interpretación. We have to think in another way, right? Break, um, for example, what else? Miss. Dígame. Tell for me, it's very difficult to order the words. Yeah, grammar. grammar. Yes. <laughs> And that is gonna be... For uh, things in Spanish, yeah, it's no... It's not igual. Uh, how do you say igual? It, the same mm -hmm. uh, in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I really want to tell you there is a magic way to learn English and to make that better, but it's not. It's the only way that you have to, to improve that is only practice and practice and practice and remember the rules. Because English is very, very different from Spanish, okay? So we gotta understand, for example, let's correct the sentence that Ramiro just said, okay? Ramiro said, is my big problem too, okay? So in this sentence, let's just check. This is just an example, Ramiro, okay, please. Just an example, okay? Don't take it personal. It is just an example. Is my big problem. What is the mistake in that sentence? Can you tell me? Is my big problem? It's missing uh, something. It's great uh, great it's, problem. It's big. It's, 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 it's. He didn't write the subject of the sentence yeah. you see because in spanish is like that s but in english remember i told you we always need a subject right so that's the thing grammar it's very complicated in in english but let's think about it it is my big problem too excellent ramiro yes that's better it is my big problem <laughs> too uh -huh. now remember The only way you have to improve your grammar is through grammar. So I will recommend for grammar, many people will say that the best thing is to write, but really it is not the best way to learn grammar. The best way to learn grammar is to read, okay? 
because when oh. you read books, you're going to understand grammar unconsciously. Got it? Means, uh... Aunque no los entendamos. <laughs> well, start with easy books. Don't read complicated books. Okay. <laughs> Eh, creo, teacher, eh, Miss, eh, en ese punto también, y qué bueno que tocamos el, eso, eh, lo va a hablar en español, ¿verdad? Pero es leer, un ejemplo, para mí, yo lo entiendo, pero porque voy traduciendo las palabras y mi mente hace una interpretación, pero no voy viendo la gramática, cómo va el orden de las cosas, digamos, ah, yo veo, I will, no sé qué, y yo digo, ah, él estuvo haciendo tal cosa. Pero me voy más por el verbo y por el contexto del, del contenido. Okay. No tanto como por verlo. No sé qué recomendación nos podría dar ahí. Que deje de pensar en español. <risa> Porque sabe qué va haciendo cuando va haciendo It's esto. Difficult. Cuando usted va entendiendo el contenido. Traducido. Usted va entendiendo el contenido, lo va rearmando en español. Exacto. Por eso no le presta atención a cómo está escrito en inglés. Porque usted empieza a rearmarlo en español. La oración decir, dice, leo en español. entonces usted le, lo, lo ve en inglés, su mente lo procesa, pero lo entiende en español, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuando hace ese proceso, revierte lo que acaba de leer y ya no dice Pedro's house, usted dice la casa de Pedro. Entonces, cuando usted lo quiera volver a escribir, me va a escribir The House of Pedro. House Pedro. ¿Me entiende? Porque usted lo interpretó de la otra manera. No lo yeah. interpretó como Pedro's house. Yes? That is the yeah. big problem. That you're thinking in Spanish. Right? And yeah. you're reading and you're... No, no, no. I'm going to make this and this and this. Ok, así ya lo entiendo. Y así lo interpreta. Y a la hora de decirlo, lo dice mal. Deme un segundo, Jonathan. Sí, con lo, que, lo mismo que estaba hablando. Es, eh, eh, a mí también ya me habían dicho eso. De, de, de que pensara en... Que no pensara que pensar en inglés, pero es, es very difficult, o sea, a mí me cuesta bastante porque igual yo voy a, voy eh, incluso escuchando o leyendo algo, pero yo lo voy traduciendo y después trato de traducir lo que voy a contestar o lo que voy a escribir. Ajá, entonces, miren, este, así como pensar en inglés, no sé algún tip que tenga para que o sea, no Nuestra mente eso, se... pero... Miren, yo de verdad... Está sí que... en formato español. A ver, en cabal. Actualícela la nueva versión de inglés, por favor. Sí, miren. I don't signal. I don't have signal, ok. Miren, lo más importante aquí es lo siguiente. Yo ya fui ustedes, ok. I was in the same position as you are. The same position. Cuando ustedes hablan de esto de interpretación en español y luego en inglés, interpretación y luego que el español lo traducen a su mente, yo me remonto a cuando estaba estudiando en la universidad, me recuerdo el aula, segunda planta, cerca de la grada, donde yo estaba justo, siempre, siempre, y lo quiero decir ahora porque siempre lo pienso. Estaba sentada en el medio de la clase, <coughs> tercera línea, de adelante para, para atrás, <coughs> y estaba viendo hacia la puerta porque el docente estaba explicando el switch y dijo, el switch que ustedes hacen entre el español y el inglés y, me, y tocaba el switch de la luz cuando se encendía y se apagaba <coughs> hace que ustedes interpreten mal las cosas porque tienen que pensar en inglés, no en español era tercer año, tercer año de la universidad y yo dije, ¿cómo uno hace eso del switch? ¿Cómo voy a apagar el, el español en mi mente y voy a hablar inglés? Eso es bien ilógico. O sea, no puedo hacerlo porque el primer idioma es español. Siempre lo voy a estar pensando. right Look at me now. Now I don't think in Spanish. Ahora ya no pienso en español. ¿Cómo pasó? I don't know. That's the thing. I would like to tell you, miren, esto es mágico, esto va a pasar y pasa así. I don't know. Yo tenía... Pero yo siento de alguna forma que fue algún amarre <risa> o algo mágico, I don't know. Porque yo segundo y tercer año en, de, de la carrera tenía pesadillas en inglés, creo que ya se los he contado. Tenía pesadillas en inglés, me tenía que levantar a medianoche y escribir las palabras. Porque yo tenía pesadillas. O sea, yo, yo así como dicen, ya les he dicho acá, creo que lo he dicho también, aquí como dicen en los cantones, yo de para ajustaba yo salía corriendo de la casa 
mi mamá salía a buscar, o sea, parece, parece así como, ¿me tengo que volver loco para aprender inglés? Pues no. Pero yo sí me estaba volviendo loca. Yo dije, like, I'm, gonna, I'm going crazy, right? Porque yo, mi mamá tenía que salir y decir, no, tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. Yo no quiero estudiar inglés ya porque me estoy volviendo loca, no sé qué, mi mamá, no, porque yo tengo una cosa que se llama ansiedad. Entonces me decía, que tranquila, ¿verdad? Like, easy, respire, relax, and things like that, ¿ok? But the thing is, un día de tanto soñar en inglés y luego living the American dream, ir a los Estados Unidos y todo eso, right? Like, like living there, actually living there. Um, then I realized that I was thinking in, 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 in English. And I was just thinking in English and not Spanish anymore. So when I speak to you in English, I'm not thinking in Spanish. Luego puedo hacer esto rápidamente and start speaking in English again. You see? So that's easy for me now. Even when I realized that happened, cuando yo me di cuenta que eso pasó fue en una academia que trabajaba, no sé si se contó eso también, que estaba hablando con todos mis compañeros en inglés, Así bien, bien, bien pesaditos nosotros, ¿verdad? Hablando en inglés y así de esa gente que cae mal. Y después llega la ordenanza y me pregunto una cosa. Y a la ordenanza empiezo a contestarle su pregunta en inglés. ¿Ok? Yo no me di cuenta hasta que todos mis demás compañeros se me quedaron viendo y me hicieron como que, ¿qué estás haciendo? Y yo dije, después, yo, a mí me, me dio pena, don Martín, que en paz descanse. Se me quedaba viendo como, porque la había vivido en Estados Unidos y quería interpretar y me decía, ajá, ajá. Pero él nunca me decía, no, no está hablando en español. Y él me decía, ajá, ajá, ajá. Yes, 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 me decía. Y yo después, don Martín, disculpe, disculpe. Yo estaba hablando en, en, en inglés, pero no me había dado cuenta. Y de verdad no me había dado cuenta. Didn't realize it. Así que un día van a estar ustedes hablando con alguien y no se van a dar cuenta que empezaron a hablar inglés. ¿Ok? <risa> Ojalá que sea rápido. Well, that's the sad part. Y eso es lo que yo siempre he hecho con este grupo. Ya, ya le doy la palabra, o sea, es lo que siempre he hecho con este grupo. Por es primera vez que los tengo a ustedes, ¿verdad? Algunos de acá. Les he motivado. ¿Se acuerdan cuánto les he motivado para estar acá? Ahora. Yeah. El punto es el siguiente. No pasen un año ni en dos años. A mí, personalmente, a mí me costó seis años. ¿Ok? So it's not an easy path. It's not easy. It's difficult. Oh Pero God. tienes oh una recompensa. O sea, I hope that so one day we have to, to speak English friendly. You want, uh, you hope that one day we can speak English? Yeah. Friendly? Okay. Okay. Well, that is going to happen. That is going to happen. And you're going to see it. Like, I don't know, like, look, sometimes... Like when I'm speaking in English, um, I get, I still get confused. And sometimes I don't order my ideas and I'm like sometimes mixing Spanish and English because my native language is Spanish and it will always be Spanish. If you speak with me and you think, oh, she has a good accent and a good pronunciation, whatever. Pónganme a hablar con una persona que habla inglés nativo y rapidito va a identificar que yo no lo hablo nativamente. Right? They're going to be like, yeah, whatever. Like, it sounds, yeah, specifically. Eh, you can see, like, in the z sounds or you can see it in the short sounds or in the long sounds. They are going to identify it. But they understand me. You see? That's the idea that I got to communicate. They can understand me. So, Don't be perfect with the English language, but try to be perfect. Tampoco es que lo vamos a comunicar como queremos que se comunique en español. Mi abuela me decía, pero si uno le dice a la persona que vive en Estados Unidos, people, la persona va a entender por qué así se escribe. Y yo, no, porque para ellos no se escribe people. Para ellos se escribe people. Y suena people, right? No suena people. Pero me dice ella, no, pero si yo le digo... People, él va a decir que es deletreado people y va a saber. Y yo, no, because English is English, Spanish is Spanish, right? Mira, mi abuelita es muy graciosa y me dice a veces, si yo le digo a una persona, do you crane? Va a entender que le estoy diciendo, ¿vos crees o tú crees? Y yo, no, abuela, <laughs> is do you believe so or do you think so? Pero ella piensa que podemos hacer ese mix, pero porque ella también piensa mucho en Spanish, right? Oscar. 
Sí, pero que dice que nosotros, bueno, yo crecí con gente que era bilingüe, bilingüe porque eran norteamericanos, pero que dice que cuando venían familiares de ellos que no podían hablar español, no sé cómo hacían, pero podían cantar y leer, Oh, yeah. leer, y lo pronunciaban como que estuvieran hablando español. Yeah. yeah. El caso de Selena. Eh, repiten allá, las oraciones. Selena, Selena, la cantante famosísima como la flor, Selena. Ella no hablaba español. Ya. Yeah. Hasta hoy que 30 Look for años it. después de No, yo tampoco she sabía. Didn't, she didn't speak in Spanish. No, Selena no hablaba español. Selena nació en Texas. Selena nació en Texas. Selena era una niña no sabe. <risa> Selena era una niña no sabe. Porque era ellos chicana. Las cosas de la Biblia para los ignarios. Leer y nada de, de español. Y empezaba a cantar fuerte como que si estuviera leyendo español. Eso se llama sonancia. Ah, Elena, no uh -huh. Es sonancia, lo que pasa es que la sonancia es muy fácil de repetirles, como cuando nosotros niños decimos palabras, no entendemos lo que significan, pero las repetimos, específicamente como le digo el culto. Uh -huh. yes. bueno, ya lo voy a notar. Eric Giovanni. Sí, no, solo quería decir, pero Selena no habrá sido como algunos eh, chicanos, les decimos, bueno, yo les digo así, yeah. que dicen no hablar español, eh, solo porque como que son racistas. Yo tuve... Eh, eh, estuve detenido como por tres veces ahí en las fronteras y, y, <risa> <risa> y por eso les decían gringos frijoleros. Ajá. No, Selena, ¿sí? no, 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 porque Selena vivía del español, no podía ser así. De hecho, Selena, eh, si ven una historia, está su historia en, en Netflix, está como el documental y también porque ay, yo, yo hubo un tiempo que me obsesioné con Selena. Entonces yo busqué entrevistas y busqué un montón de cosas y busqué ahí, ¿verdad? Y like, un montón de cosas. Y si Selena se frustró porque sus papás nunca le hablaron en español, ellos sí sabían español, pero ella fue una generación que ya nació allá. Entonces ella, cuando la entrevistaban, hay una entrevista que tiene con... What's her name? Era una entrevistadora bien famosa de aquel tiempo. Una rubia que hablaba, una rubia chiquita viejita. I don't remember. Pero ella sacó una entrevistadora. ¿De Cristina? Cristina, Cristina. Yo creo que era Cristina. Yeah, I think it was Cristina. But, busquen la entrevista. Busquen la entrevista Cristina con Selena. La van a escuchar así como, um, um, este, um, sí, yo, la música, y se escucha mucho que no habla. She doesn't speak. Al final de su carrera, o sea, porque ya la mataron, ¿verdad? Pero sí ya empezaba a hablar español. Pero al inicio, nothing. She didn't know Spanish. Pero lo que pasa es porque es muy fácil, por eso les digo que se aprendan canciones. Se lo vengo diciendo desde ya días, pero no lo hace. Apréndanse canciones. Ahí es donde van a aprender la sonancia en the pronunciation pronunciation is gonna get better with the songs, ok yo era malísima en inglés malísima, nunca van a ser tan malos como lo era yo, era malísima en inglés, the worst ok y, así como dicen, de tanto que va el cántaro al río que yo iba, 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 iba iba, 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 que hasta en un día uff, it happened Así como las personas religiosas que dicen, ¿verdad? Que por qué los pecadores van a la iglesia y no sé qué. Pues tanto va el pecador a la iglesia que algún día se va a convertir. ¿Right? You see? So, tanto iba yeah. yo a la universidad que me decían, eras un desastre, no podés, mejor cambiate de carrera. Like, y a veces ese refuerzo negativo como que ayuda, ¿verdad? Like, no, I can do it. I can do it. Why, Why can I do it? I can do it, right? Entonces, agárrense de ahí. Try to do that. Miren, y a, a mí que me regañen porque me pueden regañar por tomarme la clase para decir otras cosas but that's what I want you to do I want you to change your mindset cambiar la mentalidad right first of all English is not Spanish okay English doesn't equal Spanish el inglés inglés más inglés no es igual al español español más español no es igual a inglés nunca va a ser igual never 
it's not the same. It's a different language. Tal vez tienen algunas cosas similares porque vienen de lenguas románticas y tomaron préstamos de algunas. Y eso es una cosa que se estudiaría más a profundidad. Por ejemplo, el inglés moderno, porque las palabras se dicen así. <risa> Hay mucha historia. Y a mí me tocó aprender eso. Por eso seis años estudiando inglés. Ustedes no lo tienen que aprender. Qué bueno. But I had to learn that, right? Tuve que aprender desde la base hasta las malas palabras. Ya les he contado por qué se dice la palabra F word, no la puedo decir, pero la mala palabra de F en inglés, ¿saben cuál es? Sí saben, ¿verdad? No lo vayan a decir, yes. pero sí saben. Like F, I mean, U, C, K. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ok, ok. Y ya saben, ya les conté la historia, ¿verdad? No, no. I don't remember. La historia es, like, the story, para todas las no. palabras hay una historia. The, the story was that in the late Britain era, like, en, en la Bretaña, cuando los reyes eran la gran cosa y todo eso, las parejas que se casaban no podían tener relaciones si no les daba permiso el rey. ¿Ok? Entonces, para que se supiera que una pareja tenía el consentimiento del rey para proceder con el acto, tenían que tener un cartel en la entrada de su casa. Y el cartel decía fornication under the consent of the king. Oh. Abreviado, decía eso en letras grandes, F-U-C-K. A new history. You see? So, luego las personas decían F you, porque el acto que se hace ahí es that, right? So ahora, la, the meaning, luego vienen y lo adoptan y ellos lo dicen y ellos no saben por qué lo dicen. Like muchas palabras que nosotros decimos en el español, no sabemos por qué las decimos. Pero yo cuando lo estudié el idioma, tuve que aprender inglés antiguo, inglés nuevo, cómo cambió, right? And that change. For example, okay, el okay sí ya se nos explica, right? Why do we say okay? Because it's zero, zero, Zero kills. Kill. Zero kills. That is a uh, army code, right? Like for the Second World War. So now, English is changing. English has different words. It can be complicated. But what we have to understand is not the same as in Spanish. Okay? Imagínense, ¿cómo cambió de aquel momento una palabra, como nació una mala palabra, una buena palabra, whatever? And now, why that changed? and became what it is. Entonces, no se pregunten tanto, ¿por qué se dice así? Right? Hace probablemente unos años ellos tampoco lo sabían. Yes? And they just adopted it. Hablan inglés hasta diferente de estado en estado de Estados Unidos. So, it's complicated. I know it's complicated. ¿Pero saben qué es más complicado? Dejar de Learn... pensar en español. <laughs> well, that too. Learn how to speak Spanish. Esa gente. Sí. Yes. That, esa gente, ¿saben cómo se dice pajilla en inglés? Popote, ¿no? Popote. Popote no es en inglés. Es pajilla en inglés. Pajilla en inglés. Se dice straw. 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 Like S-T-R-W. Straw. ¿Cómo se dice straw en Spanish? Pajilla. Popote. Pitillo, eh, what else? Pajilla, popote, pitillo, pajita, a lot of things, like a lot of things. Se dice como de 10 formas distintas. Es como las ginas acá. Exactly, flip flops in English, flip flops in English, ginas, chanclas, caite, guaraches. Aunque el término Pero correcto es alpargatas. Como... Alpargatas, whatever. Caite. Now, listen to this. Aprendan español, eso sí es difícil. Learn English, no, nah, it's not difficult. But yes, learning Spanish is like the most difficult thing ever. Aparte la pronunciation in Spanish is very, very difficult. Like carro. Ponga un niño que habla inglés a que diga carro. Carro, carro. Ya les dije el ejercicio que yo les hacía. Les decía, digan, y los niños hacían, Ahora les decía, ahora di carro. Y ellos hacían carro. 
<laughs> It's like, no, that's not correct, okay? y, des y John decían zanahoria, mis carro. <laughs> Carrot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the two, the two, close enough. So the thing is that, okay, try to think in English, even though it's difficult, but try to think in English, okay? I'm gonna dance, dance. Ya dije dance, si usted, algunos de ustedes ya tradujeron bailar, right? No, don't do that, dance. Dance. This is the meaning of dance. Hagan esto. Este es el significado de bailar. Si tienen el paso de la mochila, hagan el paso de la mochila. But eso es dance. No es bailar. Oscar. La tarea de hoy que sea tratar de, antes de acostarnos, tratar de soñar o pensar que vamos a soñar en inglés. No se vayan a volver locos como la teacher. No, no, no lo aconsejaría. Esa etapa sí le diría que se la puedan saltar, ¿verdad? El de soñar en inglés porque uno se vuelve loco. You, you're going crazy. Pero, pero, whatever, lo que más le funcione. Pero les digo, no va a ser mágico hablar cinco minutos de inglés al día y aprender inglés no tiene coherencia. ¿Ok? So, it's not correct. Y aprendiendo lo que dice Oscar René, que era lo que nos decía, que pues lo comentó y yo se los le expliqué. Escuchen música en inglés y canten, aunque no tengan idea de lo que están diciendo. Right? Sin. Porque allí van a empezar con pronunciation. Luego, lean libros. Tengo unos libros de Scooby-Doo, libros básicos, basic books. Me decir, mire, estaba leyendo un libro de anatomía en inglés y no lo entendí pues, ni en español. Me puse a leer el álgebra, fíjese. De Valdor en English y no pude. Nunca lo entendimos. No. So, neither in Spanish, right? So, hagamos coherencia con lo que queremos, right? Yes, Try yes. to make sense of it, ¿ok? Got it? Miss, Got it. I got Miss, it. Javier. Miss, how do you say trinomial cuadrado perfecto in English? I don't know. I don't know. That's the other thing. Oh, it, that's the other thing. Look, I know English and I can speak English, but I that is English for purposes. English, y eso es una materia. English por, para motivos específicos. English for specific purposes. Yo puedo inglés en medicina en algunas cosas, pero no todo. That is algebra de Valdo. Like, how do you say trinomio o cuadrado perfecto? Trigonum, whatever. <ríe> And I will have to look for it. ¿Y sabe qué? Lo voy a tener que buscar y ya lo voy a pensar y voy a decir, ah, bueno, ahora sí se dice así, ¿verdad? So I know how to say it. Por ejemplo, hay una palabra que yo me sé que es discombobulating en inglés. Discombobulating. Eso significa cuando una persona se queda tan impactada por algo que vio que no puede producir palabras y se queda como... En shock. Discombobulating. No existe esa palabra en español. Discombobulating. Era el shock. ¿Y cómo lo aprendí? Porque estaba viendo un video de Sofía Vergara y le pusieron a decir esa palabra y ya me la aprendí. You see? And that, that's how you're going to learn English. Así van a aprender inglés. Error. Discombobulated. Discombobulating. Discombobulated. Me quedé sin palabras y no puedo hablar. Ok, let's go with the attendance. I'm just going to check who connected to the class late. José Alfredo Hueso López. In the class? Present. Okay. Yes. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Jacqueline Lisset García Miranda. Javier, you wanna say something? Uh, yes, y lo busqué en el Google y dice Perfect Square Trinomial. Perfect square trinomial. Oh, okay. Binomial Perfect perfecto. square trinomial. Otra vez que me pregunten, ya voy a saber. Miss. <laughs> Who say Miss? Miss. Sandra. I la Sandra. Miss. <laughs> Question. Question. I, I, no, no, no. I like motivational talk. You It's like perfect. motivational Yes, speak? I like. Okay. Yes, But yes. remember, remember que la motivación es una cosa, la disciplina es otra. Motivación se la doy yo, la disciplina la siguen ustedes. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Have That's a good okay. night. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Take Bye. care. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good Take night. care. Bye bye. Have a good day. Monday. Monday.
Bye. See you on Monday. Sleep, dream in English. Bye. <laughs> no, it's not. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going crazy. <laughs> okay, bye. Yes. Javier. Uh, the homework. La haré el sábado. You're gonna do the homework on Saturday. So you say, I will do. I will do the homework tomorrow. Yes, bitch. Say it. Yes. I will do. I promise. Tomorrow. I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. Okay. Excellent. You you will do the homework tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. Javier. Thank you. Okay. Good. Have, a, Have good a good night and good weekend. Bye. Bye. Veronica.